everybody. In today's video, I'm going to give you a time-lapse view of the barometer mode on the Casio ProTrek PRG 600 watch, as well as the PRG uh, 270. Both of these are ProTrek models from Casio. And then the Sunto Core, I'm using the classic black model. This uh, watch comes in various different colors. Now, each of these watches has their positives and negatives. With the barometer, there's no exception. Uh, I think the Sunto Core is probably the better watch as far as barometer. The main reason for that is in the barometer mode on this watch, you can stay in it as long as you want to. It's kind of a nice feature. You can basically look at your barometric pressure, the barometric pressure trend, as well as the temperature from the temperature uh, sensor for as long as you want to. Whereas with both of the Casio models, we can go into the barometer mode, but after one hour, it will kick us back out to the time mode. And the only real option you have for barometric pressure is you can keep the trend viewable in your time mode. If you look at the PRG 600, you can see your barometric pressure trend over the last 24 hours. That's what these dots over here on the left are showing me. My barometric pressure in the last 24 hours has gradually declined. On the PRG 270, it's a little bit better because you don't have just 24 hours. You've actually got a 42 hour uh, graph that is, a view, that is available in your time mode. And then again, we're gonna take a look at it in the center core. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put each of them in the barometer mode. We'll do a time lapse. What you're gonna see with the Casios is after one hour, it will kick us out of the barometer and you'll be back in your regular timekeeping mode. The Sunto Core is going to be different because it will stay in the barometer until you manually take it out of the barometer mode. On the PRG 600, you do not have a standalone barometer button. You do have a mode button on the bottom left. If you press it once, it will take us into the barometer. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. You'll notice that this little uh, subdial moved to barometer. You can see your barometric pressure in the bottom right and then again you've got your trend your 24-hour trend in the bottom uh, left a couple different options you can see my second hand has stopped moving what it's showing is my current barometric pressure versus the last time it took a reading and you can see that it's gone up a little bit you don't have to keep it like that if you'd rather have a second hand you do have that uh, option on this watch let's go ahead and go into the barometer mode on the prg 270 it does have a standalone barometer button it's the middle button on the right hand side and you're going to basically see the same kind of thing that we saw on the uh, 600 model we've got our barometric pressure in the middle at the bottom here uh, we've got our temperature value and then at the top we have our barometric pressure trend over the last 42 hours the thing i like about this watch better than this one is we actually have temperature under our barometric pressure uh, or our, our barometer mode on the PRG 600, if you want to see temperature, it's in its own uh, mode. It's outside of the barometer mode. And then last but not least, we have the Sunto Core. The Sunto Core is nice. I'm going to simply press the mode button once, and it takes us into our barometer. What you have here is you have a 24-hour trend of what your barometric pressure has been doing. We have our barometric pressure reading at the top, 100, uh, 1,023 hectopascals. And then again, we have our six-hour trend of what it's been doing over the last six hours. The nice thing here is we also have some view options. If I press the view button, we can see our temperature. We can choose to see our log, uh, our reference um, value. If we've set a reference point, our current time, or we can have nothing on there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put it on current time, just because I think that might be more beneficial for the time lapse. And then I'm gonna go ahead and start the time lapse and let you look at what happens in the barometer. Again, after one hour, we're gonna get kicked out of this one. This one will continue to keep going. 